Hi, this is Jörg. Today I'm going to talk to you about running a PCI pass-through on TrueNAS Core to a VM. I'm going to try this with Windows. Uh, it should work as well with Linux. I've tried this with a USB controller. That worked great. I tried it with my iGPU. Uh, that didn't work great. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to start with a comment that this is new in TrueNAS 12 core, which is the renamed FreeNAS from 11.3. Uh, this is in beta right now. It's stable-ish. It's got a couple issues with Beehive. So maybe wait for a beta 2 or release candidate before you, you know, jump right in. Um, here are instructions from the FreeBSD, the FreeBSD wiki on how to do Beehive pass-through. So passing of host PCI devices to a VM for its exclusive use. So that means, yes, you can pass through your entire USB controller and use it in one VM. You can't take a single USB device and pass it to a VM and another USB device to another. You can't boot uh, TrueNAS from USB and then pass the USB controller through to a VM uh, for its exclusive use. Um, it says here, GPU pass through devices are not supported. There's actually uh, something I found about somebody having done this successfully from FreeBSD to Linux. Um, you can take a look at that. They also uh, failed with Windows like I did. So your mileage will vary. So the first thing, two things we need to verify is my host supports uh, VTD. This is a virtualization um, technology. And the PCI card I want to pass through supports MSI. So I played with this a little earlier. What I'm doing here is I have a PowerShell and I'm going to SSH from the PowerShell into FreeNAS. SSH service, of course, needs to be running. And let's start with, do I have VTD? Now I happen to know I do, but you know, let me show you how you figure this out. All right, I see a DMAR table. As long as it exists, I have VTD. And the second thing is, does the particular thing I'm caring, caring about my controller, does it have um, MSI support. So I'm actually going to add a VLCV so I can see what is what here and I'm going to pipe this through less. And I am interested in this one right here. Uh, 100 series family USB 3 XHCI controller and I see it supports MSI. I also need its ID. So when you look here PPT1 at PCI 0 and then 0 20, zero. Zero 020 zero is its PCI ID. I will need that when I'm passing it through. So now I need two loaders, two tunables in TrueNAS uh, lingo, VMM load yes, and also I will need PPT devs equals and then the ID I just got, right? Or multiple IDs if I'm passing through multiple things. So in TrueNAS system tunables i've created these tunables vmm load yes ppt devs 020 that's my uh, usb and 020 is actually my igpu um, and as i said it did not work well at all after you have rebooted your TrueNAS server you want to go into your vm and assign the device that you're passing through so let's do that here add a device going to be a PCI pass-through and this is the one we created. So it sees it as long as it exists in that tunable. And I'm going to start this and uh, continue from when it's up. <coughs> so here's my HD graphics. As you can see, no bueno. Universal serial bus controllers, two USB 3 extensible. One of them is my VNC connection and the other one is the one I passed through. And then in Explorer, I can see a USB stick, which I, I put physically into my TrueNAS server downstairs with a file on it, which I can access. And that's it. That's all there is for PCI pass-through. I hope it was useful.